Hello, Alma here. Today we are going to learn how to make chicken taquitos. It's really easy to make. It's perfect food for small parties. Also, children love it. Very delicious. Let's begin. You need two pounds of chicken breast, one stack of celery, two garlics, one tablespoon of salt, four cups of water. You also need 24 tortillas, corn tortillas, any brand you have, one and a half cup oil, any kind you have, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of pepper, a quarter onion, a pot and a pan. Optional things you can use to serve the taquitos, you can use lettuce, avocado, sour cream, and also salsa. You can make your own. I have some in my channel. You can look how to make it. Okay, we're gonna begin to preheat in my pot. I already have four cups of water here. We're gonna let it preheat it for like three minutes, five minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna go prepare the chicken. We're just gonna cut the chicken not into small, just maybe this is a um, breast. So I'm just gonna cut it in four pieces just to cook a little faster. And that's pretty much. I'm gonna rinse my uh, celery and we're just gonna cut it in four pieces we had it ready I let my water boil for like five minutes in medium heat now it's time to add the chicken so we're just gonna add the chicken and we are going to add the onions two garlics and celery for one minute I couldn't remember in Spanish is apio so now we need to add a tablespoon of salt and we are going to let it cook for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, my chicken has been cooking for 30 minutes in uh, medium heat, so now it's time to turn up the stove. Now that my chicken is done, so we are going to pull it to cool it down. So we are going to take it out of the broth. You can use this broth for make rice or save it or throw it away, however you want to do it. So we are going to put it on here. Let it here for at least 10 minutes, I don't know, for a little bit until it cooks down. Now we are going to heat the tortillas in a pan. If you don't have a pan, you can use one of these. So whatever, both works good. We're going to let it heat and then we put our tortillas. Now that my pan is already here, so we could have preheat the tortillas, and I'm gonna heat um, 24. Now we're gonna turn it around. It might take probably like a, a little less than a minute. So now we um, turn the tortillas for a little less than a minute it takes to heat up. So this is our done. We're gonna put it there. We are going to repeat the same process. My pan is big so I can feed four. Maybe some, if you have, I may feed you three or two. And this one will feed three. Okay, my chicken is cold now, so we can thread our chicken in little pieces. You can let a chicken how uh, cold you want it. I don't know, I think my takes like 10, 15 minutes to cool down. I cut the chickens in little pieces to just let it cool down a little bit with a knife. Yo he esta canción, yo he I turn all the chickens and now I'm gonna add garlic salt, one teaspoon. And I'm gonna add a uh, one teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so now we are going to add that. Miss the chicken, so we all have the uh, flavor everywhere, and not we miss spot. Now we can have our taquitos. We can put the chicken torta in. We're going to roll it. You can put it as many as you want, little skinny, little fat, and then grab it from here. And put this stuff to the bottle so they stay in place. I am using this pot, that's the pot that I used to cook the chicken. And I'm gonna build it and put it all together in there. Con una pasión. Con una pasión tan fuerte. I just put the oil in my pan, I'm gonna just let it heat up. 
before I start frying my taquitos. And when I'm done frying my taquitos, I'm gonna put it in the colander and I'm gonna put a paper napkin so we can drain all the oil. And then I'm using a plate, put it in here so the oil will come through here. Because they don't use a lot of oil. It's a good way to take that oil. Okay, so I have my taquitos here. My oil is warm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my taquito and I'm gonna put it in the fork right here. I'm gonna use the fork so I don't burn myself and hold it from top because I'm not using anything to hold it, so I'm gonna make sure I have it there. And then I'm gonna go to the next one, put it in here, and put it in the fork, keep it there. So I'm putting the uh, spoon on top so my taquito don't roll over and turn apart for just for a few minutes. We only need it for this one. I, I can take it out now. They will okay now. And I have my stove for uh, like medium heat. Now I'm going to turn around my taquitos after three minutes. You can have to keep watching because the heat is uh, everybody uses the stove heat is a little bit different. So this has been here for like three minutes and now I'm not gonna worry about it because they're not gonna come in apart. You see this part I put it down so that the taquito stay in place and don't come apart. I'm gonna leave it for another two minutes and this should be done. And also if about the time it's kind of up, just as soon as you look at it a little bit um, gold, a little bit gold, a little bit brown, they're ready to turn around. <laughs> Okay, so this is done from it upside down so the oil comes out. But this is basically what you need. Uh, when it turns kind of gold, there's ready to take it out. And I'm gonna place it in this way. So I'm gonna the, the pin here a little bit more in the middle. So this one, we just put it here, move it in the middle. Let it cook a little longer. This is done. So now I have my second batch and then just repeat every time and it's the same process. If you want to make more, you want to make less. You can also say to fry it later or all the batch at the same time as your choice. I usually like to fry everything at the same time. Okay, that's it for the taquitos. I just want to share a couple of ways you can eat it. This is really good for potty appetites. You can put it like that. You can use uh, sour cream. You can use guacamole. Also, I have in my channel how to make guacamole. Uh, you can also use some salsa. I, I choose this time to use sour cream so you guys can come and tip the taco and then just grab it and study it. It's another way if you want to just do it for your family, something like that. You can use lettuce. sour cream, guacamole, cheese on top, and then just start eating like that. It's very simple. I guarantee you everybody is going to like it. Anybody that came my taquitos, they just love it. Hopefully you try and let me know and um, we'll see you next time. Adios. <music>